Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. This one we're doing backwards, actually. Uh, we are doing this one backwards. Uh, one thing I just noticed, actually, look how detailed this axe is. Look at that. Look at all the pads on it. It's amazing. Anyway, uh, I mean, the gold ones stand out, but like, look at these ones. They're so cool. Anyway, this is completely unnecessary uh, for the point I'm trying to make, which is uh, video. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing this backwards. Uh, I'm going to talk about my opponent's army first, because mine is silly, and... Um, Yay, we'll get to it. Anyway, so, mines of Blasting Charges. I like these guys against the High Elves. I think they're really good. You know, they can help kill a lot of spearmen. And usually you're going to see spearmen in the front line, no matter who you're up against, right? Because, uh, I mean, they don't have a lot of armor pierce here or anything. But they hold the line for a long time. So, uh, having something that can just sort of blow them up, very handy. Also, these guys do have some armor piercing as well for their melee attack. So, although it's not a huge amount, you know, they're not going to do great against anything elite. They can help whittle down things if they manage to, you know, sort of flank around or whatever. They can help. So, uh, a nice cheap, nice cheap stuff, you know, to have in the front line. So, I like these guys. They're, uh, they're a nice help. Also, you can see Slayers. Slayers are obviously a must. So much cavalry and chariots and dragons and just a lot of scary large stuff that the High Elves have. So, Slayers... You kind of need them. Also, long beards are great weapons. So uh, all these long beards are immune psychology, being long beards. So who cares about scary dragons, right? They're going to hold the line for a long time. So that's good. The uh, great weapons on the edges, they're going to help against things like uh, dragon princes and silver helms and stuff. They're very good. You know, very good armor piercing. They can do a lot of work. And they'll hold the line. They'll do pretty well against things like white lions. You know, they're, they're good. Solid units. Um, you know, these guys will hold for a long time. Ekron miners in the back. Again, just more blasting charges hitting the front lines. You know, you can't really can't really complain about that, it's pretty great. Also, Ungrim Iron Fist. He's unbreakable, so he's not going anywhere. He's going to fight to the last. And with that huge anti-large bonus, he'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most sort of Lord choices you're going to see. So uh, even if he's the last one to go, he's going to sit and fight. So pretty cool. I like Ungrim here. You know, very, very dependable unit. So yeah, I like him. Also, Bolt Throwers. Again, great for dealing with cavalry. Really cheap way of constantly harassing dragons, you know. Really, really cool units here. Um, I mean, so cheap and simple, but they're effective, and they're cost-effective, so that's all you need. And uh, right in the back, got some Quarrelers as well. These guys will match up great against Archers, because occasionally you'll see some Archers. Um, I know they're not armor-piercing, but for just killing Slayers, um, Archers are kind of a must, right? Get rid of them early, and then your, uh, you know, your cavalry can get in and get some work done without getting chopped to pieces by Slayers. So having some Quarrelers to get rid of Archers, very handy, because they'll trade really well. they got shields, they got armor. They can do a good job, so uh, I like having them in the back. Um, I think that's a good call. And also, right here, this is probably the creme de la creme. I think the Goblobber is just perfect in this matchup. Um, I probably wouldn't have him right on the edge. Um, I'd probably have him in the middle, maybe. Um, although sweeping shots can't, you know, are kind of useful, but you want to keep this defended. Um, because it's really accurate, and it'll just kill elite infantry so well. Um, it's very deadly, very accurate, and it hurts like hell. So, you know, really good build for dealing with high elves. they got all the bases covered here. And I brought this. Absolute abomination. So, I have nothing but Swordmasters in my front line. Um, I've got the maximum. You can't bring more than six. I have six Swordmasters. I've got Alariel. Unfortunately, one mistake I made is um, actually I gave them all magic attacks because of that item that Alariel has. Which was a mistake, but hopefully that won't, you know, cost me too much. So, uh, basically the idea here is I've got a load of super elite stuff and they're anti-infantry and armor piercing. They can outrun any dwarves, so who cares, right? Just charge them straight in. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, they'll just hew through stuff. And Alariel, with her insane amount of support abilities, all the healing and fast protection, giving huge melee defense, um, all the rest of it, just Alariel will keep all this stuff together. Obviously, Goblobber is uh, murdering one unit, but it's not going to be able to murder all of them. It'll run out of ammo before it can kill everything. So we'll see. So uh, seeing as how I had some money left over, I got some Illyrian Reaver Archers as well. Basically, it's something that can harass the back line. It's super quick, and even if I'm just running away from stuff the whole time, like Slayers, they can shoot at the Slayers. So uh, that'll be really good for harassing um, things like the artillery crews. So I love these guys. They're really useful, actually. Um, they come in handy. So, speeding things up. So, here, um, I do actually send a Lariel. I try and push her through the line, but she's been a bit crap. She's only a horse. And uh, it seems the Swordmaster getting in the way. I was trying to push her through so she'd take all the blasting charges, knowing that it's not really that big a deal. But he actually retreated. He retreated, and he's going to get his lines engaged, um, you know, before the miners start throwing their charges. So, one unit, really, really knackered here. Um, that's not doing great. So, here, we're going to see these guys are about to get an Earth Blood. So they're going to get healed up as they're taking damage, so, you know, it'll keep them going, keep martial prowess going. And over here, fast protection, which actually puts their 
armor up to 120, so against the, you know, standard longbeards, they're not going to get hurt, really. And uh, also, 75 melee defense. So these guys aren't getting scratched, and these guys are getting scratched, getting healed up again. So here we go, more healing. Uh, get a rear charge on top of the long beards. The bolt throw has already been taken out by uh, mostly arrows, so that's pretty great. And now I'm onto the quarrelers. So uh, pulling out here, slayers are trying to chase in, so I can't get these tasty rear charges. But of course, it's too late for the long beards. We need the long beards are great weapons. They should be able to get through the armor. But so far, I have lost zero models out of those two, and I've lost zero models. Okay, these three units haven't lost a single model yet. Uh, lost a model over here, and now the the gold lobber is shooting into these lot. Uh, a lot of blasting charges firing into these guys too, but still 1774. This is ludicrous. This should not be happening. Um, so here, charging straight through. Um, all this side has collapsed for my opponent. Here, the Slayers are still just chasing cavalry around. They're coming back in, so I'm going to get another charge on the Quarrelers and then charge the uh, next lot of uh, artillery along. Which, uh, yeah, it'll do the job. All this stuff is just being a lovely distraction for a load of the stuff in the back line. And frankly, artillery seems to be the only thing that can kill this stuff. So here, Ungrim is nearly dead just from fighting Swordmasters, and I've just dropped an arcane on forging on him to make sure that he does go. He's the only one that's really been able to kill any Swordmasters in melee, because he hits like a truck, you know, so he's going to. But still, um, so that's one unit Swordmasters gone there, and uh, another one coming back. So this unit, been fighting basically four or five units for the whole match. Only lost 15 models, because of all the healing. Uh, these guys, yeah, I've lost a model there, lost two there. It's a shame, you know, they'll be missed. Um, so yeah, bolt throw crew, gonna keep them busy. Now I've knocked them off the bolt throwers with my cavalry, so I'm gonna keep them busy with the Lariel. Uh, they're trying to shoot into the Goblobber, but three units of Illyrian Reaver archers, they're just gonna, yeah, just tear through artillery crews. So they're gonna go back to the Quarrelers, as uh, my Swordmasters basically just finish everything here. Um, this is ludicrous. This is, I mean, this is silly, frankly. Um, so these Swordmasters, yeah, they're keeping these Slayers busy. These guys are trying to run away so they can use more ammo, but frankly, I'm killing anything that gets in the way too quickly for them to actually hide. So, it's getting a little bit silly. Um, and now, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, army losses, I guess. It's only the Slayers left now. So, um, yeah, just the Slayers. Just the Slayers left. So, guys, so... I mean, this dwarf army wasn't terrible, right? It, I mean, maybe some handgunners would have been handy um, for dealing with some of the swordmasters. That could have definitely packed a punch. But given how easily the swordmasters cleave through the front line, um, it just seems a little bit ridiculous. So here, oh yeah, another earth blood. Why not? Might as well. Uh, so here, getting these slayers completely pinned by everything. I mean, one unit got pretty devastated, truth be told. But I mean, the rest are doing pretty well. Um, yeah, didn't really lose many models on anything. Uh, they all they all survived a long time fighting this. And yeah, more healing. There we go, more healing. So guys, um, I didn't think this would work. I was just kind of doing this for a laugh. It's kind of like, okay, what's good against dwarves? Armor piercing, anti-infantry. I guess I'll just bring all swordmasters then. Uh, I had no intention of this actually performing well. But honestly, with Alariel and all their support, um, they just they just kill quicker than they can be killed um, by such a huge extent. It's a little bit obscene. Um, but yeah, kind of makes no sense to me. This shouldn't be working. Yet, it does. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe more Thunderers. Maybe just Thunderers would have been really useful. But then he wouldn't have had much of a front line. And he went with probably the sturdiest front line dwarves can really do for, you know, that cheap. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the back line, some quarrelers and bolt throwers. I mean, if they were all thunderers, yeah, they'd be good against dragons and things too, but they could still get bogged down pretty easily by, you know, cheap cav. Well, cheapish, I mean, they're what, 650? But anyway, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, it just feels to me that this worked a little bit too well. Uh, I mean, look at this. There's hundreds of kills. That was the one that got hit by the goblobber. You know, these guys all learnt a couple of chevrons each. Which is just ludicrous. I mean, they each got two chevrons. I think that was the one fighting Ungrim. And these were the two, either side, just murdering everything. Um, it's nuts. This shouldn't have worked. But it did. It just had everything I needed. And it, I just all I had to do was walk forwards. Which just seems a bit cheap, honestly. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Very one-trick pony. I mean, such huge variety as uh, as the High Elves. Such huge variety of units. You know, could have brought, like, Ithilmar chariots and all this cool stuff. No, I just went with Swordmasters and Illyrian Reaver Archers, and it worked perfectly. Uh, I mean, look at the losses. I barely lost any men. That's pretty, pretty insane. Um, I mean, most of the kills were the Goblobber at 38. Slayers did pretty well. Maybe she just brought a ton of Slayers. Apparently the Slayers can kill Swordmasters better than the Longbeards can, so... I don't know, Slayer Army? Is that a good idea? I don't know. This this makes no sense to me. So, uh, I really want to know what you guys think about this. It seems really cheap. Um, but also, like, I'm not bringing many men, right? This shouldn't feel cheap. 
Um, so I don't know if it's just Thunderers will just kill everything to bits, um, and that's kind of the answer there, or if I found some weird um, sort of meta pick that should never work, but does. It's a strange one. Because, yeah, I can't think of a, of a well-rounded dwarf army. Um, you know, I mean, this is well-rounded, but I can't think of a well-rounded dwarf army that could deal with, like, this kind of stuff and a more conventional high-off build with, like, chariots and cavalry and dragon, maybe, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's odd. This is very single-minded. And unless you, come, you know, bring a single-minded army to face it, then then you're probably just going to get overwhelmed, like, like what happened here. So... It's kind of unfortunate. Um, it feels a bit mouth breathery, but whatever. Like, um, I wanted to showcase this. Just just if anyone had tried something similar, and, uh, you know, if any dwarf players out there are like, oh yeah, happens all the time. Yeah, you bring this stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, <laughs> let me know what you think. Because uh, this, this sort of felt like it worked a bit too well. Um, so anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.